Egypt's interim president, Adli Mansour, is having no luck in trying to move the political process on. Factions are feuding over who should hold the top jobs in an interim government, resulting in both of his proposed candidates, Mohamed El Baradei and Ziad Bahedin, having been rejected for the role of prime minister. While the political deadlock drags on, hundreds of thousands of supporters and opponents of ousted President Mohamed Morsi remain on the streets of Cairo and here in Alexandria. Even when an interim government is formed, Morsi supporters and the Muslim Brotherhood have said they will have no part in the military-backed process. In Cairo's Tahrir Square, the atmosphere was more of a celebration. There was no sign of the violence seen elsewhere on Friday and Saturday in which at least 35 people died. I came to protest because the country is safe after the Muslim Brotherhood's attempts to control it, and I thank God that Egypt has been returned to us again. But the potential for more violence between the opposing sides is alarming Egypt's allies, including key aid donors like the US. Euronews' correspondent says Egypt is deeply divided. While some have turned out to celebrate the return of what they describe as political legitimacy, others elsewhere are demonstrating against what they see as political illegitimacy. And between the two sides, Egypt remains open to further conflict. Mohamed Sheikh Ibrahim, Euronews, Al-Qahira.